I'm going to be talking today about the research of existing design section. So the research section of your portfolio is actually quite big and it goes through, um, you know, all of the technological aspects of uh, industrial tech multimedia. But this first one is just the research of existing designs. So things out there that are like the project that you want. So if you're making a game, it's games that are similar or even a film that might be similar thematically to your game. You know, if it's an animation, something like this. Uh, so for this student who's doing the Star Wars thing, there's lots of Star Wars and science fiction related films. For uh, this student, uh, we've got some stuff about mental illness and um, live action films. For uh, this student who did um, a very simple animation, we've got uh, some flat shapes and drawing and things of that nature. Um, we've got you know, animations about the actual moon and uh, visual styles. We've got, um, yeah, more animation on visual styles and things of that nature with this one. So the important thing that you have to do is first off, you need to have some screenshots. Uh, you need to have the actual URL of where you found it. So that's because in industrial technology, we don't actually need um, a bibliography. So you do need to reference where you've got it in text, but you don't have to put it in the end, which is nice because it doesn't use up several pages, all right? The thing that you've got to do is you've got to credit it. If you can find out who made it, it'd be nice, like the author um, or the director, I'm pretty sure you use if it's a film. Uh, you put the production company too, so if it's like a Disney thing, something like that. Uh, and then you want to have a minimum of five existing designs, okay? So you've got five different things there. Um, so this student has, um, yep, done his five and this section is quite good. I think it's really well designed. So you do a brief synopsis where you explain what it actually is. You have your screenshots and then you need to annotate those screenshots with reasons why you like it and um, also reasons why you don't like it. So that's very important. You've got your positive elements and your negative elements. So this student has then chose to do a PN chart, which I'd like you to do as well. So PN positive negative chart. So that one goes over the page. So it's probably not the best example to show, but we've got here uh, negative factors, positive factors where they link here. Um, same, so there's different ways of doing it, obviously. Uh, this student here has used their annotations and positives and negatives. So that's kind of, you can do it in whatever format you like. So this person's done green and then red. The problem that I have with this is it's a little bit hard to read the black on the red there. And uh, this person has probably not done it as well as the rest, just because I would like, I, I like the arrows. You don't have to have the arrows there, but um, this one by putting them into tables, it kind of does get rid of the problem there. So you'll notice we have our characters then for the evaluation and you need to evaluate each of these pieces of work, okay? So you need to look through them and you need to go, why is this good? Why did you choose to research it? Why is it bad? What are the things that you are going to take from this and put into your own work, okay? So I really liked the sound in this, so I'm going to use similar sound in my work. I really liked the color grading, so I'm going to use similar color grading on my work. You need to do that with each one that you do, and then you should score really well for this research section. Thank you.